Alright, welcome back to the bye week. Um, I told you I was going to start doing a little individual work. And if you watched the last video, I know, well, you'll notice I said I was going to put out a video about um, Miles Borkin. So what I decided to do was just hit the three rookies that we drafted high pretty quick. So I got three plays with Boykin, two plays with Ferguson, and two plays with Justice Hill. So, um, you know, not going to try to hold you long. So let's dive right into it. This is uh, Coach Evans with Sip the Tatter Presents Ravens Roundup. Let's get started. First off, we're gonna start with with Miles Boykin. And um, initially, it's, this is first. This is against Arizona. This is a drop, but it's really just a miscommunication. Cause um, you, well, you'll see it from the back view. He's running like he's gonna sit down and, and show his numbers, and Lamar's running. Lamar's throwing like he's gonna lead him. You know, early in the season, you have miscommunications like that, especially with a rookie. But you know, they come back and they and they try to get it right. So this is some of the, the, and he had a problem with drops in the preseason. So I just put that in there to kind of, you know, remind everybody that he 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 did have those drop problems in the preseason and to kind of show his progression when he's gotten a chance to catch the ball when he's been targeted. Because as we all know, he hasn't had a lot of targets. Most of the targets have been going to Hollywood as far as the receivers and been going to Andrews as far as the, the tight ends and whatnot. But uh, let's, you know, take a look at what Borkin got for the pot on the positive side. Keep in mind, he's a vertical threat. This is him at the bottom of the uh, screen. So, he, you know, if you're playing defense on him, you know he runs a, a low 4-4. So, you got to kind of get back on him. And he's tall. And he's tall. So, he's a vertical guy. So, you got to, you know, play him as such and not just try to, you know, think he's going to run everything short. You got you to gotta respect his speed. Pushes off real hard like he's going deep. Sets it down. Works back to the ball. Works back. The good thing is... As a rookie, he's already working back to the ball because he he's, he comes out of this break at the 50, and he works back to the 48. Him working back to the ball lets uh, does not let the cornerback close this cushion and maybe you know break it up. And the good placement by Lamar too on out routes or, or comebacks like this, like this. The good placement is lowing away, lowing away. And that's that's a good ball by Lamar. Good route by Ferguson. You know, if he get more chances, he can, he can do this uh, against different different types of uh, corners, especially your average corners. Maybe not against the you know the top tier corners, but your average guys, he could be able to do, he should be able to do this because he has the speed that they have to respect. Move on to the next play for Borkin. Again, nice catch, nice throw. This is the back view, the same thing, just to see the the separation he gets or keeps once he he comes out of that cut. If you see the guy, and he's probably kind of behind the name a little bit, but he's like two yards behind. And by him coming back, he still remains two yards behind. And good play from by that ball, good catch too also. Now this is against the Browns. This is a kind of intricate little mesh play that I, I really like. I really like what we did on here. So here, here's Boykin right here. And what's going to happen is you're going to get a mesh with Sneed, Boykin, and the tight end. So when Sneed and the tight end mesh, Borkins is just gonna kind of you know go to the voided area and go sit and go get in the end zone. There, there's the tight end. There's Sneed. There's Borkins kind of right behind Sneed. Let that happen. So he's taking Sneed. He's taking the tight end. I, I don't know which tight end this is, and he just sits right in the middle of the field. Great play design by uh, whoever is the mastermind of that one. I love it. And he's the beneficiary of it. Just by being patient. Takes patience to do this. Watch it from the back view. Takes patience not to overrun Sneed. Let that mesh come through. Bam. Right there. So now we're going to get into Justice Hill. Move to the running back position. And everybody know Hill is, Hill is super explosive. Super explosive. So hard he hits that hole. Didn't get much out of it, but I want to show you the, the explosion from, from by the time he touched the ball to the time he hits the hole. And if Bozeman doesn't miss this block, just imagine, you know, the, the burst and the, the, the run, the run out of the touch or the yak yardage, I'm sorry, that he would have after this. If he hit that right there, if they don't miss this this, this block, just know how fast he is. He's going to outrun this guy. 
he's gonna have to run this guy. We got somebody kind of run the guy off down here. But I'm I'm really excited to to get justice in the open field. We just quite hadn't got it yet. But just the burst from the time he hit the ball to the time he hit the hole. Look how fast that is. He's at full speed on like step two. And with a, li a little nice little cut without slowing down. So we could if Yonder could have I mean not Yonder, if Bozeman would have just kept that block. Need a gap. And to see it. Just the recognition. Because it's coming downhill. He's probably trying to hit behind his fullback. But he sees that open, that recognition, and gets there. Initially trying to hit to the fullback, a little jump cut. And finna be out the gate. Because he's at full speed right now. Just get a hand on him. Just get a hand on him. But now we can also just toss it to him out in space. Just toss it to him out in space and let him go to work. Got, got some blockers out in front of him. Just run. Just be fast. Be fast. Be fast. The little hezzy right here that, that kind of makes one guy block himself. It was a little hesitation move. That hesitation move, now he's in the trash. And if he could have just got by Fitz, Fitzpatrick, he could have scored. That hesitation move put the other guy in a, in, a, in a bind. Watch it one more time. This guy right here. Slow up. A nice little hezzy. Just imagine if we can get that guy in space on like a screen or some type of deal like that. But it's coming. It's coming. Because we keep pounding people with Gus and and um, Mark. It's coming for Justice Hill. Just just be patient, Justice. Be patient. Now let's close this out with, with Ferguson. Oh, we got a back view of Hill. Got a back view of Hill. A little toss. He's on a 20 right now. That little move got him there. If he'd have just burst. And you know what? Now that I look at this, if he just, if he didn't even hesitate, he might have just scored. Because I don't think 23 won any parts of it. Or 28. But now let's end with Ferguson. And Ferguson's best game came against Seattle. The um the best game that I've seen him play was in Seattle, which was our last game. And he is right here. And watch him set this edge. Watch him set this edge. Mm, set the edge and make the tackle. Mm, that's his that bull rush we talk about. He got so good, he used it in the run game right here. Use it to fight off the tackle, to extend the tackle, keep the edge, make the tackle. Hey, you, you got a guy that can set the edge and make the tackle. That's big. Here he is right here. Fight it off. Don't get hooked. Fight it off and don't get hooked. Fight it off. You hooked a little bit. Fight it off. Fight it off. Now. Do come off, make the tackle. Because you had somebody out there helping you. Again, doing a good job of setting the edge. He's standing up right here. Played it perfect. Kept his shoulder square, then squeezed down the line. Watch it. He's going to keep his shoulder square. So his sho both of his shoulders should stay uh, toward the goalpost, so to speak. Then he's going to shove it down and just dive in and make the tackle. That's, that's, that's the way you coach it up right there. That's the way you coach it up. Square, square, square. Bam, make the tackle. No, close off the cutback lane. That's what he did. Just close off the cutback lane. Let me show you one more time. Show you one more time. Stay square and close that cutback. Trust them guys on the other side going to do what they're supposed to do. Now, normally, you know, you think this is a little cutback lane, but he closed it off. Especially since you don't have a running quarterback. And even if you do have a running quarterback, we got somebody sitting out here for him. Close off that lane. Make that tackle. So these are, what, seven quick plays with uh, the rookies we have so far. The potential is there. And, again, I uh, I wasn't a big fan of the, the Boykin pick. I wasn't a big fan of the Ferguson pick. But, you know, they're trying to find their way through the system. And I didn't have to put Hollywood in here because everybody knows Hollywood. So I just didn't want to, you know, just pile on with Hollywood. We got other rookies that are contributing and probably going to have a bigger role come down the stretch because of with all the new pieces on the team. So um, this is – the bye week again this is your first time here make sure you like comment uh and subscribe subscribe being the most important and um you know if there's anything else you want to see hit me in the chat box if you anything you disagree with hit me in the chat box and um we'll go from there again it's coach evans we'll holler next time